At this point, the DJI Avada 360 isn't really a mystery anymore. We've been circling this drone for a while now. The retail box leaked months back, promo images have already surfaced, and most of the core details are out in the open. This isn't about speculation anymore. It's about understanding what DJI is clearly building, and why now? When you step back and look at it properly, the Avada 360 makes a lot more sense when you stop thinking of it as just another FPV drone. Instead, it feels like a flying extension of DJI's Osmo 360, the same imaging philosophy adapted for the air. At the heart of the Avada 360 is a true dual-lens 360 camera system, not an action cam strapped onto a drone, but a purpose-built spherical camera designed specifically for flight. The rumored sensor setup points to dual 1 over 1.1 inch sensors, which is significant for an aerial platform like this. That kind of sensor size explains why DJI is confident pushing high resolution spherical video and ultra detailed panoramic stills. This is an action cam level hardware. It's Osmo grade imaging redesigned for FPV flight. What's especially interesting is how DJI appears to handle the transition between 360 capture and standard FPV flying. Instead of relying purely on digital cropping or software tricks, the Avada 360 reportedly uses a physical rotating gimbal mechanism. The camera reorients itself depending on the mode you're in full spherical capture when you want maximum creative freedom, and a proper forward-facing FPV setup when you want immediacy and control. That design choice tells you a lot. DJI didn't want to compromise either experience. The idea is simple. Fly once, decide your angles later, but still keep the responsiveness and control FPV pilots expect in the moment. Safety is another area where the Avada 360 quietly separates itself from earlier Avada models. Leaked documentation points to omnidirectional obstacle avoidance powered by LiDAR, not just vision sensors estimating depth, but real-time spatial mapping. On a 360 drone, that matters a lot. When the camera isn't always facing forward, LiDAR acts like a silent co-pilot, maintaining awareness of the environment without turning the flight into something fully automated. Connectivity and endurance also see a meaningful jump. The Avada 360 is expected to run 04 OccuSync, with rumored transmission ranges reaching up to 20 kilometers, up from around 13 kilometers on the Avada 2. Battery filings list a 38.67 watt hour pack, roughly a 22% increase over the Avada 2's battery. Even accounting for the heavier camera system and LiDAR hardware, that points toward flight times approaching 25 minutes, impressive for a ducted FPV-style drone. All of this explains the design changes we've already seen. Compared to the Avada 2, the Avada 360 looks more industrial and purpose-built. The bright orange bumper rings are gone, replaced by a darker, cleaner frame. The battery has been shifted towards the rear to balance the added weight of the front-mounted dual-lens optics. This wasn't a cosmetic refresh. DJI reworked the airframe because the mission changed. Pricing rumors place the Avada 360 somewhere between $999 and $1,200 for a Fly More style combo, which makes its positioning clear. This isn't replacing the Avada 2. It sits above it as a more premium, creator-focused option. The ongoing US ban conversation mainly affects timing and availability, not what this drone actually is. If restrictions move the wrong way, this could easily be a global launch with limited or delayed access in the US which matters more for support and long-term ownership than for performance itself. Strip the politics away, and what you're left with is one of DJI's most deliberate ideas in years. Osmo Grade 360 Imaging, FPV Dynamics, LiDAR-based safety, and creative freedom after the flight, all combined into one platform. If DJI executes this the way it appears they're planning to, the Avada 360 won't just be another drone release it'll quietly change how FPV footage is made. And that's why this one matters. All right, this is for now. I will keep you posted with new updates soon.